Hi there frugal friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Natalie, where I'm on a financial and frugal journey, and this is my channel, Life Living Light. So I'm thrilled for you to be here today because I've got some more fantastic tips to share with you on how to save money on food. So in this video, I'll be giving you 10 more amazing tips that help you stretch your food budget and hopefully keep your wallet happy despite the rising costs with food inflation. So these tips are in no particular order. So let's get started with number one, and that's give yourself a pantry challenge. This is something that I like to do on a regular basis. Just take a look at what you've already got in your pantry or your cupboards or your fridge or your freezer. It's amazing what you've got in there. And this is something that I've been doing more and more often. So I like to challenge myself to see what I can create with, with the ingredients that I've got. With constant food prices on the rise, it's more than important than ever to make the most of what we've already got and also to minimize waste. So moving on to tip number two is to base your meal plan on what's in your cupboards. So instead of going out and buying extra ingredients, instead of planning your meals around new recipes, why not try to work with the ingredients that you've already got at home? This way you'll minimize waste and save money by using the ingredients that you already have on hand. Tip number three is all about keeping it simple. So instead of opting for complex recipes with long ingredient lists or even ingredients that you might not even use again, just focus on those simple and easy to make meals. Not only will this save you money, but it also save you time in the kitchen. Sometimes the most straightforward meals can be the most satisfying. Given the current state of food inflation, seeking out a discounted item and special offers becomes even more crucial. Once upon a time, I could quite easily walk into the supermarket and find myself some really good bargains and shop reductions. However, everybody is trying to save some money right now, given the cost of living crisis. Given the current state of food inflation, seeking out discounted items and special offers is becoming even more crucial. So if you can do so, plan your shopping trip strategically Target those times when stores are more likely to mark down prices. Be nice, get to know the staff, be a little bit cheeky as well, and just ask them when they do do their reductions. So my next tip is all about setting a budget. Make sure you give yourself a certain amount of money to spend on groceries each week. Make sure that it's realistic and make sure you stick to it as well. Having a budget will make you more conscious about what you buy and prevent overspending. It's a simple but effective way to save money. Tip number six is a classic tip, but it's really important, and that's don't shop on an empty stomach. Did you know that you can spend up to 64% more money on food alone just by shopping on an empty stomach? And research has also shown that you're likely to spend even more money on non-food related items, such as stationery, toiletries, or even those random things that you find in the middle of the aisle in Lidl or Aldi. Going grocery shopping when you're hungry can lead to impulsive purchases and unnecessary spending. Make sure that you have a snack or a meal before hitting the store so you can shop with a clear mind and avoid those hunger-driven splurges. Next time you go grocery shopping, don't be tempted by products placed at eye level. These are typically the most expensive ones. So be sure to take a little bit of a moment to look up and down the shelves and often you'll find the cheaper alternatives placed on the higher shelves or the lower shelves. By being mindful of this tactic, you can avoid falling prey to this clever marketing trick and also make smarter choices for your wallet. So if you're craving some delicious takeaway flavors without the hefty price tag, why not give yourself a homemade fake away? Instead of ordering takeout, why not recreate your favorite restaurant dishes at home? Just a little bit of research on the internet and some experimentation in the kitchen, you can enjoy some flavorful meals without breaking the bank. Now, given the rising cost of fish, it's worth considering more affordable options that provide similar tastes and nutritional value. Instead of always reaching for expensive fish varieties like haddock, why not give an alternative like pollock or coley a try? And not only this will save you money, but also add a little bit more variety to your meals. So do you want to make your fresh herbs last longer? Well, tip number 10 is to store them properly in the fridge or freezer. Fresh herbs are fantastic for adding flavour to meals, but they can also quickly wilt and go to waste. To combat this and avoid unnecessary purchases, learn the best storage methods for your herbs. Personally, I like to freeze them in ice cube trays or just pop them in a jar of water. And just using these techniques will help you extend the life of your herbs and save money in the long run. And there you have it, my lovelies. Those are my 10 more amazing tips to help you save money on food in the face of food inflation. So remember, with a little planning, creativity and determination, you can continue your frugal living journey and conquer those rising food costs. 
Don't forget to check out the rest of my tips in this series. I will pop a link below. And if you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for more frugal living content. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.